<clears throat> What's up guys? It's me, Gen 10. Today I'm talking about ghosts. You know, I've had... I'm not, I'm not sure what you'd call them paranormal experiences, but I have had, like, sleep paralysis experiences. So, like, you know, I thought I might as well share them. There's this one experience I remember having a few years ago, actually, when I used to, used to sleep in a bunk bed. Basically, I woke up in the morning and I was out, out of the bed and I was trying to go back in and I, I felt like a, a force pushing me back. And, like, it was just like an invisible wall, kind of. And I, I can't exactly remember how I managed to get in or what exactly it was. Was it in a dream? I'm not really sure. Now, sleep paralysis is something I've experienced multiple, several times. Actually, the last time I had it was like a couple months ago. Um, the most noteworthy recent experience was I was travelling back um, well I was in the hotel room in the morning and I had a sleep paralysis episode that lasted about a minute or so you know it was morning and for me sleep paralysis happens most often when I you know, in the morning when I'm you know kind of drifting in and out of sleep kind of waking up and the hotel room was still light by the way and it's like, sometimes I just go into an episode of sleep paralysis and I cannot move. And sometimes I get like, ringing in the ears as well. And it lasts for over a minute. I did not see, actually I did not see anything. I didn't have any hallucinations. Because, maybe because it was light actually, but like, yeah. It's pretty creepy. It happens to me several, several times. I say sleep paralysis happens to me every few months or so. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, but you know. It can be a pretty scary experience.